Hi Gemini, this is your October 16th through October 22nd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the um, X spread. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances real quick. And, I'll, and then we'll wrap up with the uh, what you're not expecting to happen spread this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Seven of Cups clarified by the Three of Cups. Um, we have uh, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Star. In the potential outcome we have Death with Justice and the Lovers. And uh, we have uh, the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an Aquarius. Um, who else do we have? Scorpio, Libra, perhaps another Gemini and Pisces. Well, Gemini, uh, this is going to be a huge reveal. Huge reveal. It could be accidental for some of you. So here's the deal. You're going to go to some kind of an event. And uh, somebody at that event whom you already know, they will have a little too much to drink. And then they will share their big secret. And the big secret is that they are in love with you. They want to have a family with you. You are their wish come true. I don't know how long they've been feeling this way <laughs> about you, Gemini. Depending on how long you've had this person in your life. But that's how I think it's going to play out. So, yes. Somebody you already know will tell you they are in love with you. Alright. So, yes. Let's talk about this real, real quick. Um, the moon on the bottom of the deck. Right? Uh, it could be a Pisces you're dealing with, but the moon is one of the most emotional cards in the deck and besides that the moon could play out as a card of a secret. So somebody's been keeping a secret for a long time I guess. Uh, we start off with the Seven of Cups clarified by the Three of Cups. Yes, drinking. Drinking. Alright? Seven of Cups often comes through as a card of intoxication. Alright? It's also a very dreamy, illusionist type of an energy, right? Perhaps they've been dreaming about you for a long time. The Three of Cups clarifying it is definitely some kind of an event. It could be... Uh, what's interesting is that um, we're wrapping up a Libra birthday season and we're jumping into a Scorpio uh, birthday season, right? Death in the potential outcome is a Scorpio. Justice in the potential outcome is a Libra. <laughs> So, it could be one of their birthday parties. It could be, alright? Um, but yeah, somebody will have a little too much to consume those uh, adult beverages. Uh, it doesn't have to be a birthday party. The Three of Cups is still some kind of an event. Alright, the reunion, party, gathering, opera, game, show, perhaps you're going out dancing, I don't know. And uh, what they're going to tell you is uh, they are in love with you, they, you're, you are their wish come true, they want to uh, marry you, Gemini. That's how it's going to play out, right? The next two cards that came out after the Seven of Cups are the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Both of those two cards are commitment of marriage cards. For some of you, you could be going to a wedding, by the way. You could be going to a wedding, you could be going to like a housewarming party, you could be going to an engagement party. Right? Or perhaps uh, it's like uh, a huge family event and not only family members are invited, uh, it could be that uh, guests are also invited, right? And it's like a huge event and uh, still they will tell you that uh, they want to spend the rest of their life with you, right? Because um, the Ten of Pentacles is also a commitment and marriage card. Just like the Ten of Cups. And you know what? When you get both of them in the same reading, and both of them showed up in the main spread on the left, not even in the um, potential outcome, neither one of them is a clarifier. Both of them just came out right after the Seven of Cups. All right? So it's not a matter of if, but when, I guess, the two of you will get married. But uh, yeah, when you get both of them, it's like you're getting the best of both worlds. The Ten of Cups is all about emotional fulfillment, the happily ever after. And the Ten of Pentacles is when people buy real estate together and have money in the bank. But, uh, you know, when you get both of them, you get both. The best of both worlds. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the star. It could be an Aquarius. You're dealing, but the star is a card of a wish come true. 
you know, something people wish, usually wish for, I hope, for a long, long time. <laughs> That's what they want with you, Gemini. In the potential outcome, as I already mentioned, we have death, justice, and the lovers. All three of them are major arcana cards. All right, every single one of them is a major kind of card. Uh, as I already mentioned, death could be a Scorpio, justice could be a Libra. The lovers is your major kind of card, Gemini, unless you're dealing with another Gemini. But together, it's a transformation. Perhaps this person is somebody, like I said, you're, you've known for years and years, and now that you know their big secret, right, change, things will change. Things will change. Death is a card of a transformation. Things will never be the same. All right, justice, uh, if it's not Libra you're dealing, then perhaps justice could be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel or what have you. All right, then the lovers is your card. It's also a card of um, a choice. So you will have a choice as to what you want to do about th this whole predicament, this whole ordeal, Gemini. But at the same time, I don't see any rejections. <laughs> I see zero rejections. <laughs> All right, so yes, prepare for such a huge reveal. Gemini, and then you can decide what you want to do about it. But two commitment and marriage cards, two, in the main spread on the left, <laughs> and a wish come true. All right, Gemini, really happy for you. Congratulations. Gemini, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have uh, the Emperor, clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Cups. Um, we have the Lovers, clarified by the Nine of Cups, and we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, we also have Aries, Sagittarius, and we have you. So the Lovers showed up again. I don't know if you watched the first spread, the Lovers was in it, different deck. <laughs> well, only good news so far, only good news. I don't know if you're single and if you watched, if you watched uh, the first one and you're watching this one just in case, um, yeah, that's, that's going to be very surprising what we saw in the first spread. So could this be, this could also be surprising. Because uh, this spread right here could be a proposal. Yep. <laughs> it could be an offer to take it to the next level, whatever that level is for you. All right. If you are already married, they still want to do something super nice for you. Like super nice, super romantic, uh, Gemini. You're going to be so, so happy. As a matter of fact, they may grant a wish for you. Perhaps you always wanted something and they're doing it for you this week. Okay. Yeah. It's that good. The Emperor, the first guy that came out, that would be the person. Uh, could be an Aries. You know, the Emperor often comes through as the future or an existing husband or spouse. Okay. Um, and they are clarified by the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind and after that there is no turning back. Right. So here they come with the uh, Six of Wands clarified by the Knight of Cups. The Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card. <laughs> If it's not a proposal, then still they want to do something super nice to you. Because the Six of Wands is a card of attention. You, you definitely have their full and undivided attention. The Knight of Cups, clarifying that, is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. So expect something very, very romantic, very, very loving. Right? The Lovers, um, the last card that came out is clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Lovers, that's you, right, Gemini, unless you're dealing with another Gemini. And as I was clarifying, the Lovers, I simply asked how will Gemini feel about this, and the Nine of Cups showed up. It is a card of a wish come true, it is a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, and that's exactly how you're going to feel about once they do it for you. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Hierophant. We have Judgment. We have uh, the Fall, clarified by the Star. <clears throat> and we also have the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, pretty much any Zodiac sign. Um, so you got this Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So somebody just wants to catch up with you, grab a cup of coffee with you, grab a bite together with you. But um, what they're doing is they want to get you out of the house. Okay, and once the two of you get together for that cup of coffee or what have you, that's when the rest of the spread plays out. Right, and um, boy, oh boy, I hope you're ready for this. Right, so we, we're, they're coming back with the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Hierophant. They want to, you know, this whole reading, Gemini, is just nuts <laughs> so far. Everybody wants to marry you. Everybody wants to marry you, Gemini. Um, the Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. 
Okay. Um, if it's not a proposal, then still you will know they wanna uh, they wanna get serious with you. The hierophant clarifying uh, the Ace of Pentacles could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but the hierophant is a card of commitment or marriage. <laughs> All right, it's a very serious card, very spiritual card as well. Okay, judgment in the middle is a card of somebody coming back from the past and also a card somebody having to make a judgment call. And by somebody, I mean you. All right, and uh, we have uh, the Fool clarified by the star right next to the deck. Those were the two last cards that came out. The Fool could be an Aries, uh, the star could be an Aquarius. Uh, but if we want to stay general, those two cards are talking about second chances and healing. Right, the, the star could be a healing. One of one of the ways to interpret the star is healing, and uh, the fool when it comes to X spreads. I often interpret it as a card of second chances. You know, letting go of what happened between the two of you and starting uh, from clean slates. So it is a reconciliation, Gemini. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Gemini, real quick. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This will most likely resonate with you, Gemini, if you're waiting for money in some shape or form from whatever source of income, from a person, from an organization, from a company. If you're waiting for money, it's coming. It's coming your way. Um, all right? That's pretty much it. <laughs> well, let's talk about this real, real quick. The Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of waiting. I think this is you waiting for that money. The Four of Pentacles, the first card that came out when it comes to work, business, and finances. I usually interpret this card as a savings account card. This is a card of somebody who is holding on to money, right? So it's coming your way, and it could be lending in your savings account, your checking account, or it could be a check in an envelope. I don't know. The eight of wands in the middle, this is a card of um, <clears throat> um, like travel for some of you. Perhaps you're going to get paid and you're going to go on vacation right away <laughs> or something like that. But for most of you, this is simply notification or like that uh, transaction, right? And letting you know that money is in. And uh, the nine of cups right next to the deck is a card of uh, personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So you'll be satisfied with, with the with the fact that money is here. Or you'll be satisfied because now you're going on that vacation. <laughs> Either way, money coming in. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Gemini, this week. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Five of Cups. Uh, we have Temperance and uh, the Six of uh, Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, a Fire Sign, Aries, Lyra, Sagittarius. What you're not expecting is this Queen of Wands, whom you already know. Uh, they, are, they want to reach out to you and uh, either bury the hatchet with you, heal this situation if the two of you had some kind of a fallout or breakup, or they want to rebalance things between the two of you. They want to bring back the balance between the two of you, if that makes sense. But let me explain. <laughs> Got the Page of Wands and the Queen of Wands, the first two cards, right? The Page of Wands is a message coming from this Queen of Wands. They're clarified by the Five of Cups, which is a card of grief and regret. So I assume you guys already know each other and you either lost touch with one another or you had some kind of a fallout. Because the next card I came out is Temperance. Temperance is a Sagittarius card, by the way. If this Queen of Wands is a Sagittarius, it makes total sense. If they're not, that's okay too. Temperance is a card of balance. Temperance is a card of bearing the hatchet, reestablishing this connection, or whatever the nature of this connection is. And the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is definitely a balance card. And it's also a card of an equal give and take. What you're going to do about this, Gemini, I don't know. <laughs> but it kind of feels like this person is sincere. They really, they really are sincere about uh, re-establishing the balance or re-establishing the connection, uh, whatever the nature of this connection was. All right, so yep, that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week.